Welcome back to the River Valley Redneck. I'm going back on the chicken coop here. I was able to score a bunch more of uh, re reclaimed lumber. So I'm going to be using it to uh, work on this thing. I think I got enough to get all my doors framed up, get my roof framed up, get my uh, siding on it. I think I'm going to use fence panels for the siding. Try to use this, all the reclaimed lumber I can use keep this thing under a budget so far I've got nothing into this thing so we'll see how far I can go on having nothing into it before I have to start buying stuff I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to get hardware and things like that for sure but we'll see what happens let's go from here well I got a rough cut out for the door opening for the chickens <laughs> I plan on taking some 2 by 4s I'm going to frame me out a doorway here roughly 12 maybe 13 inches by 12 or 13 inches and then that way when I put all my siding on here, I'll be able to drill a hole and then just basically follow the doorway opening to get the opening cut out. And then back here, I've already cut up some two by fours to uh, work on making the frame for the big doorway so I can clean it out. And I'll get that hopefully done up sometime in the next hour or two. I gotta find one more piece of two by four. That's long enough. And then back here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut open the opening there for the nesting boxes and I'm gonna start working on them this afternoon. And hopefully I'll get the nesting boxes built up and framed in and that way I can get them mounted. And then once I get all that done, I've got some fences I gotta take apart in order to get the siding. And I'm gonna work on getting that roof done up here and then hopefully I'll, by the end of the weekend, I'm hoping this thing will be almost a complete chicken coop. All right, what I did was is I cut two pieces, two by four, they're 12 inches. And for now, I'm just gonna secure them to these slats to give me a roughly 12 inch opening. And I'm gonna take another two by four and go across from here to here across the top of it to secure it to the actual frame itself and give me a top on that and that way I've got something to guide me on on cutting I got a piece of wood cut about 18 inches. It'll go in here like so. Give me about a 12 inch. By a 12 and a half inch opening. I think that'll do me just fine. I'm gonna save you the trouble of watching me pound out a whole bunch of nails, but I got a whole bunch of plank boards from an old fence that my dad had. I'm gonna use that as siding for my chicken coop. I've already pounded out a few of them. We'll uh, 
get started on putting them up. That way, the sides of it will have a siding on it.
Well, this is my nesting box that I'm working on. I've uh, framed it in with some, I think two by threes is what I had. <clears throat> Went ahead and I got the siding all put on it, on the sides. I'm gonna put a roof on it that's slanted like that, but I'm gonna wait till I get the siding on before I put the roof on. And that way it's easier to seal up for sure. Got my three areas there for the chickens to lay in there. A little over 12 inches by 12 inches. They're closer to 13 by 13 or so. And uh, it's coming along. It's, it's getting a little bit more sturdy now. I think it'll be all right for chickens. So didn't want to bore you with all the pulling nails and all that stuff because it's all used lumber. We'll get, we're getting there. Well, there's the nesting box. All framed in, got a roof on it. I plan on putting metal on top of the roof. So I'm gonna get that where it's got metal on it so it'll be a little bit better for rain. It'll hold up a little longer. I gotta build a door to go on the back side here so I can check for eggs. And I'm getting ready to start right here and put me a cross brace with the uh, boards there from the picket fence. And then after that, I gotta build a door for this and put a roof on it. That's about it. I'm getting real close. Gotta get some roosts inside the uh, coop also <clears throat> for the chickens to sleep on. So slowly but surely I'm getting there.